The AIDS Education Collection is a group of about 8,000 posters and uh, a lots of other material relating to the history of HIV AIDS. It was donated to us beginning in 2007 by Dr. Edward Atwater, who built the collection from scratch starting in 1990. The earliest posters we have are from 1982 at the very dawn of the AIDS crisis, and they go up through the present day. The posters actually show lots of different ways that people are responding to the AIDS crisis, using both graphic representation and language to inspire, to educate, make people laugh, to make people empathize, and to teach people about how to protect themselves from HIV AIDS. Dr. Atwater actually was wired as a collector. I mean, there are some people that are just built that way. It was kind of this apocryphal moment where he was on the subway in Boston and he looked up and saw this poster of two disembodied hands holding a condom. And as a, as a trained physician who uh, went to medical school in the 1950s, even for doctors, they didn't talk about condoms, they didn't talk about sex or safe sex. It just didn't happen. So he said, this is actually really a sea change moment. I'm seeing something here that I've never seen before. And after he got off that subway and got home, he picked up the phone and called the Massachusetts Department of Health and said, I saw this poster on the subway, can you send me one? And that's how it all started. Dr. Atwater was interested in the history of HIV AIDS through the posters because he was also a medical historian. With HIV came this need for personal knowledge and education and protection that we never saw before. And people responded. Uh, creative people responded in unbelievably creative ways. And having all those posters together, to be able to look at them side by side and individually is really a remarkable thing. Dr. Atwater definitely had a few favorites in the collection. There are two posters that he loved. One says, cover your, and it has a silhouette of a rooster. There was another poster that said, protect your, and then it has a cat. So it was, it was kind of interesting to go um, to work with a 90-something-year-old person and to have these kinds of conversations and to see some very, there's some very um, uh, blush-worthy content in, in these posters. The Up Against the Wall exhibition consists of about uh, 170 posters from all over the world, a, a real interesting cross-section that highlights the different aspects of the, of the messages and the methods that, we, that were used to educate people around HIV AIDS. The posters were chosen by uh, Donald Albrecht, who has done uh, amazing exhibitions for years. He's um, out of New York City. And what his focus was, was to identify posters that really served as exemplars of what these messages are and how they're being told. The curatorial process is a, is a careful one and a complex one, especially when you're dealing with such a, a vast collection. So it's, you, you could do this a million different ways. It's really my hope that people will walk away knowing and understanding that we have a responsibility to each other to protect ourselves and to protect each other and to recognize that even with drugs and with prevention medications that this is still a problem. You know, I work with the collection every day and I see posters that I have never seen before or don't remember seeing and I'm blown away repeatedly about by, by what I see. This is, a, this is a poster from Italy. There's a whole series of this Stop Sita, um, and there are several of them in the show. This is a very famous poster, um, the Bush AIDS flag. We actually used this one in a, we made a postcard of it. This is from Queensland, Australia, um, and this is, uh, there are, there's a series of these condom man posters. Uh, but it's interesting that they're using um, an indigenous Australian person. 
So this is a very um, well-known illustration, Keith Haring illustration that was used by the New York State Department of Health. We have it on um, shopping bags and they're um, in different posters in English and in Spanish. It is an art exhibit, but it's about so much more. So finding that way to balance both the artistic elements and the messages is really, really important. It's bittersweet because I really worked so closely with Dr. Atwater. He passed away in um, May of 2019. So I was at his house a lot, picking up posters and talking about a, a lot of things that were important to him about this collection. So I really wish that he were still with us to share in this, but I think he would be really, really happy. I think that the message is still really critical, that we absolutely need to remember that HIV is still with us and that it affects us all. You know, the posters are very much in the analog world. They're very ephemeral and they're very analog. They weren't meant to be kept and they're works on paper. And I think that it's really important to think about how language and visual culture can have such a deep and lasting influence on, on us and on our society.